You know how they say eyebrows are sisters, not twins? Mine are like distant cousins sometimes. But that's why we have brow gels. Yes, you can fill in. And happy summer, Naz Perez here, the host of Get Ready With Me and JCP. I am so excited for today's episode. Today is our vacation episode, and I feel like getting ready for vacation just hits different, you know? Today I'm gonna to be talking to Zara Barrow. We're gonna be doing a relaxing vacation look, and then we're gonna be doing more of an adventurous vacation look with TT Segunro. I can't wait, pack your bags, here we go. I'm doing awesome. I'm excited for my vacation. <laughs> oh my God. Happy summer. Happy vacation. I stalked you on social media. You always look so effortless. So please walk me through your like effortless, relaxing summer vacation day look. What is step one? Step one is moisturizing those lips. We don't want to be dry and crusty during the summer heat. I know with all of us traveling, I love to wear um, a lip balm that has some SPF to kind of like protect our lips from the sun. I love this one. It's so cute and it just like so tiny and it just does the job. This one tastes like an oat milk latte. Mm. I love it too because people forget to use SPF on their lips. And this pro this company, Everyday Humans, uses like really good. I love this one. It doesn't leave a white cast or anything like that. So it's it's just awesome and it tastes like oat milk. Mm. <laughs> I know. It, it literally feels like I'm drinking an oat milk latte. Okay, what's your next step? And also, where are you going on vacation? My next step is Soft Focus Glow Drops. These are awesome. Um, it's an illuminating primer to just kind of apply before I kind of head to the airport, head over to the pool, or, you know, walk through the streets of Istanbul. That is my first location. I'm going for the first time, me and the kids. And it's going to be such an unforgettable experience because it's our first time traveling as a family. And low-key, I'm kind of scared, but I'm so excited because, you know, my kids are all grown up and it's time to kind of like, you know, get out there and be vulnerable and experience new people, culture, language, and food. So Istanbul, first of all, the Istanbul airport is the greatest airport in the entire world. I think they actually won like the Condé Nast Traveler Award for best airport last year. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I actually went to Istanbul last year oh and the God. culture and the food, like the Turkish coffee, the Turkish delights, like all the, are you going, are you going to take them to a spice market? Yes, we're going to the spice market on like day two. Oh, I love how this wow. feels. I feel so hydrated. No, me too. I mean, it's giving, I, it's like everyone always wants to look like Hailey Bieber, you know? <laughs> and I, I, this, it's the soft focus glow drops, but yeah, they, it is such a good primer and I feel so glowy right now. We want to be really right. dewy. We want to like, you know, have that like sun kissed glow, um, which brings me to my next step. Um, I love this everyday cream. I love this everyday cream and it's kind of, and it has like, um, SPF, this everyday cream has SPF 40 and just kind of like apply it on and I rub it in that skin to skin contact and then I just yeah. kind of like apply it on my face, kind of like a moisturizer and SPF in one. This is very, very crucial. Yeah, I'm obsessed with this one and done. We actually spoke to the founder of Relevant in our first ever episode on Get Ready With Me and JCP. So anyone watching, you should check that out. Um, but yeah, the, I, it's hard to find something so thin that has 40 SPF in it. And this one and done by Relevant is so nice. It's really dewy and I love how it kind of like um, feels on the skin. It's very lightweight. And as you guys can see, it does not leave a white cast, which is so important. Okay, wait. So when do you leave to, when are you leaving on this family vacation? We're leaving on July 5th. It's actually a multi-city trip. So we're headed to Turkey for five days, Beirut for three days, and surprisingly, Iran. Iran for another seven days. Yes, and I'm also going there for pilgrimage as a Muslim, and so it's going to be like a spiritual trip, but at the same time, just enjoy it as a tourist as well. When you go for pilgrimage, like for us, when you go for pilgrimage, it's so important to be pure and clean and holy. And so this brings me to my next step, which is yeah. one of my favorite products ever. It's the Beauty Balm. It's a natural tint. It's also an SPF. It's, it's SPF 30, not 40, which is still awesome. And for me, I love skin-to-skin -skin contact. So I just kind of apply it 
um, over oh, yeah, here on my hand, and I rub it in. You can also use a beauty blender, <laughs> just like that. Yeah. Busy. And it, and I for me, it's like the perfect coverage. Um, and it smells so fantastic. It smells like summer. It has this like citrusy oh. smell, and it's just super easy to apply. You just kind of like put it all over your face, under your eyes. And it's just super important for me during summer that I don't feel heavy. Do you feel the same way? Yes, I feel the same way. I was just going to tell you because I'm using the Jason Wu Tinted Moisturizer, mm. which you can obviously get. Uh, I just love his packaging. But whoever invented Tinted Moisturizer literally deserves right. a Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> because <laughs> it's exactly what you were saying, especially when I'm going to the airport on vacation. Like, I'm single, Zara. So it's like, I don't want to look like I'm trying too hard. And it, to just have that... To just have that product that feels so effortless, doesn't feel heavy on your skin, um, and, but makes you look really glowy and almost like, it it's almost just acts like a thin layer. Like look the Jason Wu one I just feels like, like a thin layer on my skin. Yeah. I love it. I love it. And you know, summer is all about that sun-kissed glow, right? You want to look like you've been kissed by the sun. And what better product to go in with a, with a multi-stick bronzer by I Mimi. And look at the shade. Yes. It's just perfect. And I love this because there's no right or wrong way to wear this. You could wear it yeah. on your cheeks, which I'm going to kind of put that in. Right yeah. Here. How do you apply? Okay. you. I like to use the brush. Mm. I love skin to skin. And I'll go you like, yeah, you are you love like I coloring love skin on. To skin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust myself. I literally, whenever I do that, it's like I'm like a seven-year-old drawing on the wall. Like I feel <laughs> like I, I, I don't know how to like stay in the lines, which is totally fine for summer. But I love this too because it's compact. Like what is your, when you're traveling, Zara, because you're like a world traveler. I, I've seen your blog. Like what do you have in your makeup bag when you're traveling? Or what do you, what do you need in your carry-on, you know, that's like easily accessible? Honestly, if I'm uh, flying, I want to like keep things to a minimum and it's so important for me to stay hydrated. I feel like skin comes first and if your skin is not prepped in the right way and it's not hydrated and moisturized, then your makeup is just not going to look right for like the entire yeah. duration of your trip. And so you have to take care of your skin first. So I usually have my sunscreen, my moisturizers, my eye creams, and then um, my, my, um, my, my bronzing stick because it's summer. And we want to look all bronzed up. We want to look like we were just at the pool, even though sometimes we're not. And you just want to look like you're like you've been there, done that type of thing. And of yeah. course, a multi stick. Multi sticks are so crucial because they're so versatile, right? Like I, as you can see, I'm applying this all over my face, and automatically it gave me a boost of color. <laughs> no, it that? does. It literally feels like you were just like I. I like to um. I actually like to um put some bronzer on my eyes like it's like eyeshadow mm -hmm. too which is why I love these sticks yes my next product is concealer because who does not have bags I don't <laughs> apply too much during the summer I like to just do apply like the dot method I'll do like three dots so oh, just, just like do a that. couple that's so funny I'm literally the type of person that's like I'm painting the top of the Sistine <laughs> Chapel on my face <laughs> I want to look like that's the thing I feel like there was a trend that was once viral that like if you had like dark circles, it was like pretty. Do you know what I mean? It's, you know, yes. Well, are you talking about like Bella Hadid kind of? Yes. And like some girls like that kind intentionally. of intentionally. And so yeah. for, for me, like for summer, if I'm just like want to wake up in the morning and have like breakfast on the terrace overlooking the Mediterranean, I want to be able to. No big up. deal. <laughs> yeah. I want to be able to get up and get out so quick. But look at this coverage. No, so that, that looks so good on you. You're yeah. right. You actually don't need that much. I'm and yeah, this go in and maybe take. is super like natural looking. You can, of course, apply more. I feel like if I'm going out for dinner at night, I would apply way right. more concealer and more like translucent right. powder. But if it's just like right. a day trip with the kids and we're going to be, you know, coming back for dinner later at night, I want to be yeah. very lightweight. I want to feel super lightweight. And yeah. it just spreads. So beautifully. Wait, with, this like, concealer is so. This is the CoverGirl concealer I'm it. using, just because I love knowing colors. I'm using the 400 Warm Nude, and I feel like it just instantly just. Mine's the light beige. Seamlessly blended on my face. I've been using um, okay, so for like three years. Real, no, it's so <laughs> I'm good. I'm obsessed, and it's super affordable, and it does the it does the trick, and I it's also very very hydrating. So look at that. 
Wow, it really dreamy. just blends so Looked well. like I woke up and I slept for 13 hours and I'm not jet lagged. <laughs> okay, so this is the RMS Beauty. It's the a clear translucent powder. And mm. I love this little brush that it kind of comes the with. The little powder puff? This, yeah, this little powder puff. And I just kind of like, you know, lift it upside down. Okay. Just kind of tap it in there. And I don't apply it directly on my eye. I usually like put it on my arm and I like rub okay, it on you put on your arm first? Yep. And then very lightly just tap. You don't want to add too much powder. You just want to be able to set it enough. You know, you don't want cake or anything like that. Yeah. I would apply a lot more for dinner or if I'm headed out to like a fancy right. restaurant during the day with the kids. And you just want to apply it under your eyes and a little bit over your face. Not too much. And it smells phenomenal. Mm. I know it does smell really good and I think you're I think that's a really good point it's like if you want to keep that summer dewy look just make sure to go like right under the eyes but wait Zara as a mom I have to know with kids are you the type of vacationer that like plans every second or do you like to just say we're gonna explore the city and see where the day takes us so I would say both I always have an itinerary because you want to make sure that you're making the best use of your time while you're there and I feel like when there's an itinerary planned, a lot of times things can get loose. You might switch plans, but you still have an idea of what you're going to do on those days. If you switch up the days, totally okay. Like, it's fine if you don't end up doing everything. But at least you know that you had a plan in place. And you'll start to understand, I guess, while you're there, like, what might work that day or if you're tired, especially if you're jet lagged. So, yeah, I'm definitely a planner. Yeah. What are you, what's your next step? My next step is a multi like stick. I love this one by Mora. And this is in the shade Jessie's Girl. I like this color for summer because um, I feel like it's not too light or too dark. It's perfect in between. And I use this everywhere. I actually have the RMS Beauty. I have the RMS Beauty Lip to Cheek. Um, mm -hmm. And this color is called Smile. I love this coral because like you were saying, it gives you like that sun kiss look. Mm -hmm. Um but I, I love what you're doing, like, that. like, with the eye. Yeah, just like that. You can see how it adds a little bit of color. It's not too much. Yeah. It's really, really subtle and really simple. And if you want to make it a little darker, you just keep adding more and more layers. So if I'm going out for dinner, I'm going to add, like, two, two or three layers. And then I could, like, shape it with, like, a brush if I needed to. And just kind of, like, make a, make a winged look for the night. But if we're talking about a day look, this is more than enough. Yeah. It's nice to have a day look that can serve as a base that you just build upon later because it takes away less time during your vacation, you know, where you can just like throw on a couple things, get ready to go and like make it to dinner with your kids. Exactly. You want it to be easy and effortless. Do you have a favorite vacation that you've ever been on that you like look back on fondly? So fun fact about me, I am going through like a morph in my life where I'm like morphing into this person who's like all about new experiences, meeting new people, trying new foods. I've always been a person who was fearful of traveling. Um, like, yes, fearful of traveling airplanes, um, you know, dealing with anxiety. Wow. Yes. No all way. Of so I said to myself, you know, I am so tired of living like this because there's so much beauty in different foods and different cultures and different countries. And I said, okay, if I'm old and I'm on my deathbed, am I, do I want to regret my life just living in one place? No, I don't want to do that. And I feel like I'm going to be dragging my kids along with me if I stay like this. And so I decided, you know, like last year, I said, okay, next year, I'm going to go full force. And we're not going to just do one country. We're doing three at a time every single summer. And oh hopefully we could do a winter trip too, you know, and just kind of like face my fears, face my challenges and overcome that. But I think what you're saying is so relatable and so inspiring because I have a lot of friends that are also scared to get on a plane. Traveling internationally, you're on it for a very long time. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that that is so brave and courageous and beautiful that you want to experience the world with your kids. It's all about those new memories. And by the way, I love that you chose that color. It suits your skin tone so well. Isn't it so pretty? Yeah. It's like a peachy, pinky. It's a summer color for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, yeah, I, I love it on my, my lips. Hands on it. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, it's Smile RMS Beauty. Obviously, you guys can get it at JC Penny Beauty. It's lip to cheek, and I put it on my cheeks and my lip. And it's like that, like you were saying. I just figured it's like a good by the pool or you know on the airplane sort of effortless look. Um, but what's what do you use on your eyes? So for me, eyes and eyebrows are probably the most important step 
if you don't do anything and you, you want to wake up and do nothing, you need, I feel, yeah. two products. You need a really good brow gel and a good mascara. Yeah, I you, love you brow need, gel. Yeah, brow gel is my favorite. So let's start with brow gel. Um, I love this one. It's, a, it, it's the color Wow Brown by Alf Cosmetics. And all you need to do is kind of like brush your brow hairs upward. For me, I have naturally really dark eyebrows. So you I have like the greatest white. eyebrows. You <laughs> like win, you win an eyebrow award. Thank you so much. I have like yes. dark, really dark brows. So, but I do have some spots that are like empty. And so I just kind of like brush it very lightly. And yeah. this is like, yeah, it's really pigmented. So you don't, you want to be very careful when you're brushing it. But look you how just it's filled a little bit. in wow. the, the, like the center of my brow. And it just keeps my hair strokes. Show Are you me. kidding me right now? You have like the Mount Rushmore of eyebrows. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's why I like, I, I, my, my eyebrows are very much like, you know how they say eyebrows are sisters, not twins. Mine are like distant cousins sometimes I feel like. <laughs> Um, but that's why we have brow why, gels. Because that's like why I love brow gel problems. because you can fill, yes, you can fill in. So what I like to do is start like in the middle of the brow first with like a little product. Just exactly. Because I feel like that's and the And then I'll come to the top. Like yeah. So I'm not it overdoing upward. it. And then you just yeah. like shape it in whatever shape you want. You can arch it. You can yeah. point it. Whatever shape you want, this brow gel kind of does it for you. And it also adds like, using, a very light tint. Yeah, I just yeah I'm using the Ico one. I'm using Ico, and it's just tinted as the color. Um, I really like this. I like the tube. I'm a I tube love this girl. one. This one's by Ico, and it's waterproof because hello, pool, summer, heat. So waterproof is crucial for summer. So if you don't have a waterproof mascara, this is the one for you. And for me, again, because we're doing this like a very like easy, effortless look, I like to apply it to like the edges of my lashes. Just the edges, and it's okay, just like the that. edges, and it gives me like a foxy eye look. Oh wow, that's so smart! Yeah, just like to the and I just like I've never done that before. Yeah, I just emphasize the corner, just like that, and I just don't even touch the front. Yeah, I just don't even touch the front, and it's gonna automatically shape my eye to look like a little bit more almondy and foxy. Wait, I love that tip, tip yes. and trick. I've never done that before. Super okay. easy. Literally like 10 seconds on each eye and it's you're done for the day. And this is awesome because it's waterproof. You could swim in it, tan in it, go to the Spice Bazaar in it. <laughs> you, I feel like we both look so good. We're ready for summer. I'm going to finish this up with our bamboo water protective mist because I love just like setting it in and just feeling that like, and we are ready for vacation, girl. Ooh, this smells phenomenal, by the way. Yeah, these two are going to be my besties on the plane. Yeah, these two are going to be my besties. Hydrate those lips. Hydrate your skin. Perfect. The whole plane ride. You're the best, Zara. Thank you so much for telling us about your vacations. I hope you have the best time with your kids. I'm so proud of you. Thank I can't you. wait to see all the content online. And uh, congratulations on like an incredible vacation. Thanks for walking us through your relaxing vacay everyday summer look. Okay friends, now that our skin is glowy and ready for an outdoor summer vacation look, I'm gonna toss it over to JCPenney beauty expert, Vivian Phillips, who's gonna talk to us about all things SPF. I wanted to share with you some of my tips and tricks about a uh, sunscreen for the vacation people and the people who like to be out in the sun. Some of the tips and some of the things that I think are important about being uh, out in the sun is making sure that you're constantly protecting yourself because if you're not protecting your skin, you're definitely gonna encourage those sunspots and the fine lines and wrinkles just through the sun damage that you get from being outside. It's really important to always wear some kind of sunscreen all over your skin and on your face. You want to also make sure that you're using something more than 30 SPF to really protect your skin. Now when you're putting that sunscreen on, it's important to make sure that you put your sunscreen on right after you put on your moisturizer. So you don't want to put it on um, the first thing and then follow with your skin routine. You want to make sure you put the sunscreen on right after that moisturizer goes on your skin. About every two hours is a good idea when you're thinking about how often you should be putting on your sunscreen. A really easy thing to use is a spray over your skin to really 
create sun protection, but if you don't have the sun protection in a spray form, you can always use a cream and you can put it in your hands and then get just your regular sponge, dip it into your, your cream sunscreen, and then you're going to just slightly dab it on all over your face to make sure that you're creating sunscreen protection for yourself. Um, you want to make sure that that's always happening. And if you don't have a sponge, maybe you're out and you're on the beach and you do have just a little bit of makeup on, you can add that sunscreen to your fingertips and just gently press that sunscreen into your skin because you want to make sure that you're getting that sunscreen nice and pressed in to the skin because that will help with the penetration of the skin of the sunscreen into your skin so thank you so much i hope you enjoyed those tips and that they can be part of your day uh, back to you nas Okay, friends, now we're going to do a daytime look for an adventurous travel day with T.T. Sagunro, who is going to Europe this summer. T.T., yeah. where are you going in Europe? <laughs> so I'm starting off in Paris. Paris is my favorite city in the world. Like, I've been there over seven times. So Paris has my heart. So I always start with Paris. And then we're, we're going to Lisbon in Portugal. So we're going to hit up Portugal. And final stop will be London. So London is my birthplace. It's I have family there. My sister lives there. So I always try to do that when I'm traveling with the kids. So they can, you know, hang out with the cousins and just do do local stuff like, you know, Brits do. I love it. You wait, I'm so jealous. You are so well traveled. Like you literally have your stuff Thank on you lock. So because you travel with your family, your partner. The videos on social media are so good. And you are an expert Thank packer. You. So I need to know about what you put on your face for an adventurous day, especially in Paris where everything's about being like effortless and Parisian. What's like step one in your in your adventurous vacation day look? Step step one is always your SPF guys. You can't, we gotta keep the skin looking good and healthy. TT, first of all, I have so many thoughts. I'm like, oh my God, I just wanna like get a baguette in Paris and walk around and <laughs> just like eat yeah. a huge piece of bread. Also Lisbon, is like, I've been, cause I live mm -hmm. in LA and I keep hearing that it's like California. It's like the California of Europe. And then, um, oh. I love London and I love that you were born there cause I love Indian food and Dishoom yes. is my favorite place oh, yeah. ever. Yes. That's, that's a huge, um, Indian culture in London. Yeah. Yes. Um, I have was, you, have you, so have you been? Yeah. Have I, you been to London? I've been to London. I've been okay. to Paris. I've never been to Lisbon. Um, but I, and now that I'm following you, I, I feel like I am going to go yeah, to Yeah, thanks for the follow. No, of course. Yeah. I was dying laughing at the video you posted of your daughter where it said, I'm taking my daughter around the world. So when your dusty yeah. son flies her to Houston, she's listen, not impressed. Listen, listen, you, you have to, you have to show them the world. So they, you know, they have standards. So she has standards now. She knows where not to go, like what would impress her and what not. So Taking her around the world and seeing the world through my daughter's eyes is simply priceless. Oh my god! So yes. <laughs> What's next in your in your adventure? Oh yeah. Sailor? So next we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go straight to this mist. It's a bamboo water protective mist. Mm -hmm. We're gonna spritz that on, eyes closed. So. Um, okay, so TT, it looks like you've been around the world with your husband. Oh yes. <laughs> I do. You guys coordinate outfits when you're traveling. Um, he, he copies me. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say that. So we're gonna go straight to the lip S, lip balm and just put it as SPF, which is awesome. So we're gonna put that on. So I love this lip balm so much. I was talk, I was saying earlier that it literally tastes like you're having an oat milk latte. But um, honestly, smells, it's so important to protect to your lips from the sun. We never think about doing that. I know. I forget that often, but yeah, ladies get lip. What is okay? Wait, what's next in your in your adventure? Okay, so we're gonna go stuff. straight to the Jason Wu. I love this. It's like a light. It's like a BBCC cream, so you get that coverage without the heaviness of a proper foundation. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna go. What do you feel like, TT, is the secret to traveling with a partner? Because you guys have been traveling oh. together so long. Like, do you ever get on each other's nerves? Like, what's the secret to having oh, all a the good time. vacation? All the time. That's that's that's. That's a given. That's the, honestly, that's a given. Um, so what I do is we, we kind of have conversations before the trip. Like, what is your expectation? I know you have to shoot your content. 
mm. what day. So we have days where it's like no shoot days where it's all fun and we are actually enjoying our trip. And then we have work days where the camera is out, we're shooting, we're, we're shooting content. So we have those conversations and then we have, we have space. I think it's, you know, just like you do at home where you're not in your spouse's face 24 seven. Right. You know, you can just go grab a coffee in the morning by yourself, you know? So I, I, I encourage that while you're on vacation with your spouse. So that way you get into less of those things. Oh, I really, really, oh my God. It blends in perfectly. It really does. It looks so like, good perfectly. on you. I've worn this tinted perfectly. moisturizer all spring and I'm definitely bringing it into summer. And I'm telling you, it's like, it's great because it's it's sheer enough where it's not like a full coverage tinted moisturizer, mm -hmm. but it does conceal a lot too. And it blends yeah, into the and, skin and, so nicely. And so I'm going straight to the, con to the cover girl concealer. Yes. Yeah, okay. Concealer. So do you have any, do you have any concealer tricks? I do actually. I, um, so I love to use it to contour, like kind of like how you're doing, oh, but my okay. trick is I'll tell you right now. So I'm using the cover girl. Let's see. It's this one's mm -hmm. the cover girl 400. True blend. So what I'll okay. do, TT, is I'll put it on. And then what I like to do is oh. put on a lighter color after just right here. Just to brighten up my oh, eye a little bright. bit more. Okay, that's a good, that's a good tip. Yeah, because, you that's know, especially like we were just talking about with time zones and traveling, you always want to look yep. awake. <laughs> and sometimes, yep. it, you know, when you land, it's really, you know. Three, I know. I, I always three. have, I always tell people, you know, just... Grab something, put put a little bit of makeup in your um, travel, in your carry on, mm -hmm. or in your purse. Okay, so you've been a pa you've been to Paris seven times. What are your like go to Paris must dos for the perfect Paris summer day? My Paris must do is, you know, take a walk. You know, there's nothing like walking down Champs Elysees <sighs> or actually the uh, actually Avenue Montage because I'm I love shopping, so I'm I'm a I'm a fashion girl. Yeah. So Same. shopping. So I would say do that. You know, start of your day going to a brasserie. I would say go to a brasserie, get you know, get coffee. You know, that is totally a local thing to do, and just people watch and have your breakfast right there. Then you know, I love muse I love history. So museums definitely hit up the museums, and there's always some exhibit. There's always something you know, something fun going around in the city. So take advantage of that. Then I would say dinner, make reservations and go to dinner at one of like a nice local restaurant, like, like an experience. Yes. And do it ahead of time. I try to get into Balagon, which was like this Israeli restaurant, which was all the rage in yeah. Paris. And I couldn't, mm -hmm. I couldn't get a reservation. Yeah, that, I, I think, I think most, most good restaurants in Paris, you definitely would need to make reservations in advance. So don't just show up. Yeah, like you have to make your reservation weeks in advance sometimes. Yeah. Especially in the summer. So I always yeah, I always tell people do that. Like make reservations in advance. Then an another thing I like to do, uh what I would say to do, obviously, I mean you can do the Louvre, you can do um Eiffel Tower at night. It's beautiful. Um, okay, what's next in your step? I don't know if you could see TT, but I put on the lighter there's like one line of the lighter one just to brighten up under the eyes a little bit. So I'm, I'm still in that tip. I'm still in that tip next time. I'm going to get to colors and do that. I got you. Um, so we're going to go straight to... So we have this lip to cheek... Um, Blush. Product right here. Yeah, the RMS. Blush. Ooh, I love it. It's kind of... It's creamy, guys. So you can... So I'm going to put it up around my cheekbone lines. And I'm going to put it up top. Just to have color to my face. Mm -hmm. so. And just to like look like yeah. you're awake. What is your one, because you're so such an expert at packing, if you could oh. just take one beauty product with you, like what mm -hmm. would it be? Just like one. on when you're on the go, on vacation. Honestly, S SPF. <laughs> yeah. I'm, t I'm team SPF all the way. Because when you are out and about, you're out in the sun more. Um, and people tend to forget that I'm always, I always have my SPF in my bag and to reapply, especially when I'm spending a lot of time outside. I like to do that. Ooh. 
I love what it's doing. That looks to my... so pretty on okay, you. Okay. What color? What color of the arm? Is so this are you is. Wearing? It's called elusive. So this is elusive, mm -hmm. and this is what it looks like. It's mm -hmm. pretty. It's a nice. I think I'm gonna put a little bit. See, when I'm on the go, I just I just take I use my hands a lot. Yeah, and it's so, so it's, easy because you don't need anything. You know, you can just like quickly yeah. spruce yourself up in the bathroom. Yeah, that's the thing, ladies. And just go and just put something on and still look nice and put together without. I see you're putting the blush on your lips too, which is like so. Yes. I love the way um, I was sharing earlier. It's versatile. Mm -hmm. This one, mine's it's called Smile, versatile. and I love how it looks on my lips. Smile. Ooh, I, I I love the I love how it highlights your skin tone. That's mm -hmm. a cute color. Mm -hmm. I love it. That one looks That's so good nice on you color. too. So I'm gonna go straight into this. I want to put a little bit of this to address the shine. Okay. So this is the also RMS Beauty. It's on powder. It's translucent. Okay. So are you putting you're putting it under the eye? Yeah, I'm putting it on the yeah. I love that. Um, when you're traveling with your family. What, is it hectic or is it crazy? Is it calm? Do you guys have, do you have like a plan? So we have conversations, right? Like here's where we're going. Um, and now my kids are a little older, so we kind of ask for input. Like, you know, what do you want to see? We ask them that. So, Love and that. that's one of the reasons why, why I'm in Paris. We're going to do a, either like a macaron making class or a crepe making class with my daughter. I think that's, that's one of those call memory things type activities and something she would love so wait so, so serious like question are you adopting because yeah. my mom has never taken me to a macaroon making or crepe making class so we're gonna go back to this protective mist okay i'm gonna spritz it all over the face it's that so it gives it that kind of like nice glowy finish okay Ooh, and it actually it feels good yeah, and you, you mm. close your eyes, you have a little moment to yourself in the middle of the chaos yeah, of like a crazy travel day. You're just like, it's like a spa in your, in your bag. Yes, yes, yes. All right, you're the best. Have the best Thank summer you. vacay. You too, you too. Take care. Bye. Bye. All right, friends. Those were our first class vacation looks. I hope you had as much fun as I did talking to Titi and Zara about their vacay looks. And I hope you have a fun vacation coming up. Don't forget to check out all of our previous episodes and subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any future episodes of Get Ready With Me and JCP every month. Happy summer.